So first thing, we're going to roll for first player to see who deploys first and takes the first turn, or deploys second and takes the second turn. Yep. Six. So I got it. Uh, I'm going to deploy first and take the first turn. All right. Uh, but first, we start with the structures. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab a skyscraper and put it dead center. Cool. All right. So now, in terms of deployment, so I can place myself at any of the highlighted blue starting zones. I'm going to go. Should I stay close? I'm going to go right on this side. A nice bit of cover, or both ends of smashing into. Why not? First turn. Uh, there are no turn start effects. Go to upkeep. <clears throat> I'm going to choose to gain my heart for my upkeep. So I have a heart of ten, which just brings me to ten total fighting spirit. Unlike you, I do not have a cooldown zero card, so I have nothing that's starting in my hand right now. But I'm going to just close the gap. I've got a speed of five, so let's just get in this intersection. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna end my turn, so it goes to the cooldown phase. Black also flex goes in my hand. Everything else moves to the right one cooldown slot, and it is your turn. Instead of art, I'll gain three power tokens, and I will move. And end my turn. Okay, so when I turn start effects for me, I'm going to go to upkeep. I'm going to gain another 10 fighting spirit. This is going to bring me up to 20. Starting the combat phase, I'm going to move right next to this skyscraper just one and then i'm going to pay three fighting spirit which is going to bring me, bring me down to 17. and i'm going to play black hole suplex uh, so if it's successful i get to throw you into an adjacent structure and i can perform recovery roll if it works and uh, if i'm successful i'll be invulnerable to any uh impact card effects from that destroyed structure okay but it's rolling two attack dice naturally uh, I will defend. Oh. Two defense dice. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other responses. Okay, I got nothing. Cool. Oh. Oh. So, eight and seven. Two successes. <clears throat> cool. I'm assuming no responses. Mm -hmm. Okay. That does one damage naturally. Okay. And then I get to throw you to an adjacent structure, which is the skyscraper, so that gets destroyed. Draw an impact card. Inspire, dusting off your robot's chassis, you reach to the mass of rubble and produce the building's lance-like spire. It's point sharp enough to pierce armor. You receive one damage. If successful, your next melee attack inflicts plus three damage. Remove this card from the game after your next melee attack. Creates rubble. Plus one defense. In it! And then because it's a skyscraper, that damage is doubled, so it'll just be two damage. In eight rage. And then. So that card goes to cooldown. It's got a cooldown of one, so it goes to one slot in the cooldown meter. I don't have any other cards in hand, so I'm gonna end my turn. It's so going to cooldown. That goes in my hand. Cooldown slot two goes to cooldown slot one. And it's your turn. Gain three more power tokens. Actually, I'll put three of them right now onto here. To activate double dagger. Activate double dagger. Unless I do something to deactivate the ability, or yeah. you want to deactivate it yourself so you can earn those power tokens back because you have a maximum of six. Otherwise, it's it's there to stay. I'm gonna stay right there, actually. Yeah, end my turn. So then, at the beginning of my turn, there are no turn start effects. Just move on to upkeep. I'm gonna stay at my 17. I'm actually gonna gain dash a single power token. I'm gonna spend my movement. I'm going to rear back one hex. Then I'm going to spend seven fighting spirit. And I'm going to play first chain lariat. So if it's successful, I get to move to a hex within range. It's a maximum range of four, so that means four hexes away. And all opponents who are adjacent to the path of the movement are pushed with me. 
So hopefully I'm just going to lariat you through uh, buildings. Uh, rolls total of two attack dice. I will respond with our hunter. Spin three. One, two, three. Roll one die. Okay. So then, any instants? Ah, uh, no. Two attack dice and one. Twelve. And one response. I actually can't right now. So, yeah, our cutter is successful. All right. So two damage to you. So then I go from forty-five to forty-three. Armor. That's it. First thing there, it has a cooldown value of two, so it goes to the second cooldown slot. And then I gain a rage. I'm going to do that actually to gain one more power token. I'm just going to blow through my fighting spirit. I'm going to spend another four. So I'm going to go down to six or ten. And I'm going to play Black Hole Bomber. It's got a range of one to four, so it works. It's one die, but if it uh, if it's successful, I get to leap to your hex and then throw you one hex. All right, uh, I will defend, and because I'm in the rubble, I get plus one defense, so I have three dice. Okay, so it's one attack die and three defense. <laughs> Thank really goodness. It's really shockingly close. Uh, <laughs> All right. I have no instance, so you've successfully defended, and I am successfully sad. <laughs> Black Hole Bomber's cooldown value 2, so goes to 2. And then I'm just going to end my turn. Alright. So go down the cooldown phase, this goes in my hand, this goes down in the slot. I'm going to take Heart, bring me up to 9. There. Then I'm going to move. 1, 2. Yeah. Right here. Next to you. And then I'm going to combo Volt Spike with Bolt Caster. Yes. Spiking you with electricity as far as I can through buildings. That's a total of nine. Gives me one die and the plus one from the combo, and then I will spend all three of my power tokens to get three power dice. Uh, I'm going to respond. I'm going to spend four fighting spirit, bring four, six to two. I'm going to play Anchor Buster. So it's only two dice. I get to throw you one X and inflict like an anchor to you. Do you have any instants or any responses? No, I'm out. I do not have any either. Okay, it's gonna be five on two. Here we go. Ah! Oh, wait, wait. It was unsuccessful, right? Yeah, so you get to reroll. So them. I get to reroll them. Because the combo counts as a single attack. Oh, God. Oh. Yep. All of this happened, so. You get two damage, and then plus one is three damage, then this, which is a plus three damage, yep. and a plus one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven damage from that. Yep, so and 36. Then you get a power surge, and I throw you per success. Then I'll just throw you <laughs> backwards into this building. Yep. That was awesome. Get an impact card. Collision, structural weakness. The building instantly gives way, putting all your robots' weight directly into the street, which shatters and implodes into an enormous sinkhole. I receive another three damage. And it creates a crater underneath. But just a regular high range. Alright, minus one elevation. But that was a total of ten damage from that attack. So then I gain rage. I'm just gonna take another power token. I'm gonna my turn. So bring out all this. Yay for double dagger! Okay, no turn start effects, but I am on top of a crater, so I have minus one elevation. Uh, I'm just gonna go to upkeep. I'm gonna gain heart. So going to 12 fighting spirit. And then I'm going to move out of this crater. So I'm gonna be spending one, two, uh, three, four, five. Okay. Right next to the skyscraper. Do a, try to do a burst chain harpoon counter combo. So it'll be a total of two dice because burst chain rolls one. I get plus one for the extra card. Okay. So it's two dice naturally. Ideally, I'm going to reel you in with a chain uh, next to the building 
and then uh, if you respond with a melee attack and it's my, my combo successful, I can throw you again. Okay, I'm just going to defend. Cool. Any instance or responses? Nope. One from the other, so two dice. Good. Six and a one. Six is a remove, so yours is successful. And I stay put. Yes. He's going to cool down. Both of them are in cool slot too. I'm going to spend six fighting spirit dropping me down to one. And I'm going to play anchor sprint. So if it's successful, I get to move two hex within range and attach two anchors to any of those two hexes I moved across. Naturally rolls two attack dice. Okay, I will defend. Okay, two on two again. Seven and a one. It's one success. Any responses? No. Cool. One success is all I need. So it does two damage. Okay. Two. Well, then, then I get to move to a hex within range at a range of three, so I can move up the three hexes away and I attach one anchor to the, any of the two hexes that I moved across. Okay, I'm gonna gain my rage, which is eight. So I'm gonna go one, two, three adjacent to you. And I'm going to drop anchors, drop them right here, right here. Anchors are a special trauma token in the game because not only can they be inflicted to your cooldown meter from attacks like other trauma tokens, mm -hmm. but they can be placed directly onto the board as an obstacle and then if an opponent moves across them, they'll automatically attach. They're like these chain mines that like spring up and hold on. Uh, but that is going to be my turn, I only have one fighting spear left, so I'm going to go to cooldown phase. I think it moves down one slot, and it's your turn. I'll gain power tokens. I'll move one, two, three, four. This way. And then I'll pay five. Two, three, four, five. Tesla Surge! I don't have any instance to counter that right now, so just inflix power surges. There you go. It's the end of my turn. No turn start effects. For my upkeep, I'm gonna take heart. So 10 fighting spirits, put me to 11. I'm gonna spend my movement, starting the combat phase. One, two, three, right on your other side. Okay. I am going to try to flip over your head and then smash you into an anchor. So I'm going to be spending five fighting spirit uh, to play Luna Vault. Okay. So I go from 11 to 6, fighting spirit. And I'll respond. I'll spend the rest of mine. Or head on! <laughs> so I don't even have to roll. What's just going to happen is that I leap to a hex opposite of you. So, so leap me? means I get to move, uh, but ignoring elevation levels uh, and obstacles. So I'm adjacent. I get the three. So I'm just going to flip you right from there on top of that anchor. Setting that anchor into your cooldown meter. Uh, and it just does, it inflicts two damage. Okay. One, two. Let's get some And I receive double. Yep. I drop my three, so I gain 16. I'm gonna actually end my turn. So I'm gonna go to cooldown. Uh, we've got a power search here, so that moves instead of a card. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. Your turn. Okay. So I'm gonna do upkeep, right, six. So I'm gonna get the four. One, two, three, four. So I'm at 20. Uh, I'm just gonna do an attack with bolt caster. I'll use the rest of my power tokens to get three more power dice. I'm just gonna spend two, six to four. Uh, and I'm gonna play uh, harpoon counter. I'm not playing a melee attack, so its rules text will pretty much be ignored, but it is an actual counter card, so I would be able to win ties. Okay. So you're rolling two dice. Six okay. dice! Double dagger! Exactly. God damn. Nice. Because of the counter, my 10 stays, yours goes out of play. Oh, okay. Uh, so it just reduces it for being a possible success. Gotcha. But you still have a 12 and 11. So two result. successes, it's one damage, one power surge. Okay, so I go from 33 to 32 armor. One power surge. And I throw you two spaces. One, two. 
Impact card is Structural Integrity. You collide into the building, but its strong frame bends around you, saving you from further damage. You receive two damage and, and forced movement on that axe. Then you get an extra two damage, so you redone the 30, and then it creates rubble. Yep. I'm going to gain power. One search per success. Since they got two, so it means you get two searches. Go. Cool. I'm going to spend three. One, two, three. For FTL engage, I need to move. Okay. Gonna move. I already moved one, two, three. I have a movement of five with a minus two. I'm going to spend seven. So I'm at four. For lightning glaive. And because you have three surges, I get three attack dice added to my two. I'm going to defend. <laughs> and you get a plus one defense. I do, because I am on top of rubble. I get plus one defense. And I'm actually going to spend a power token, add a power die to my defense roll. Okay. So five on three. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, that obliterates my roll. Okay. Five successes. So, because I don't want you to do 10 damage to me at this moment. 11 damage because of plus one. That's true, 11 damage. I'm uh, going to possibly infuriate you. Um, <laughs> we'll see, maybe not. Oh no, never mind. Never mind, I'm out of range. Okay, yes! so I have no responses. Yes! <laughs> So that's okay. 10 damage, and the plus one, that's 11 damage. Which brings me from 30 to 19. I'm actually going to take my Fighting Spirit in the range, so I'm going to go from 4 to 6. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to end my turn. So, let's go back to my hand. This stuff moves down. So, for my upkeep, I'm going to gain Fighting Spirit, which is going to bring me up to 16. So I'm going to move, so that's 1, 2 then actually three, four, just on top of this high rise to give me combat advantage. Spend eight fighting spirit for my 16, bring me down to eight, and then I'm going to spend that to play sky anchor orbital swing. If it's successful, I get to throw you up to four hexes away and create a crater on the hex you land because you hit so hard. It's a melee attack, but it is within the four reach. And because I'm higher than you, I get combat advantage, which is going to add one extra attack die to my roll, so I have three. Okay. Uh, I'll spend four for never back down, which means I cannot be forcefully moved. Uh, I'll, I'll just defend. So it's going to be three dice and two. So the max I can do right now is four damage. Seven and six. Seven and six. So we oh, have you got eight and nine one. and a nine. Winning the roll right now, but I don't need to do any additional smashing to you. So, just the four damage? Uh, four damage, and actually it requires the anchor to be destroyed. Okay, so it's removed. One, two, three, four. I'm down to 19. And I'll gain uh, my rage, which is eight. I'm going to end my turn. So I'm going to go to cooldown phase. I've got three power surges. So I'm going to move... Uh, I'm actually going to move Sky Anchor Orbital Swing instead of Harpoon Counter. Um, then my power surge moves forward. And then I've got two surges here, so this is not moving no matter what. But these surges move in its place. Uh, okay, it's your turn. I'm gonna gain power tokens. In my upkeep. Okay, so I'm mm. moving the rubble. So I have defense. Then I am going to spend everything I have again for raid and crush. <laughs> Giving me two tech dice, mm -hmm. and if I succeed. You gain fire equal to your power surges, which would be three. And I'm going to use all my power tokens for my power dice. I'm going to spend four fighting spirit. One, two, three, four, eight to four. I'm going to play <clears throat> gravity well. Instant within range. All opponents must perform a recovery roll. On a failure, they pull three hexes. Ideally, I'm going to pull you out of range. <laughs> so you won't be able to play your card. <laughs> Every roll, you're just going to roll a d12. Uh, if it's a 1 through 6, it's a failure. If it's a 7 through 12, you succeed. I'm going to receive a panic no matter what. That's a failure! Ah! I'm just going to move you right here. 
just want to stop you from hitting me over in your crush. And then I get a panic and exchange. So it's going to go here. And now if I have panic reduces all incoming fighting spirit by one until it's out of my cooldown meter. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to play an instant. I'm going to spend two. One, two. Bring me down to two. I'm going to play Spirit Flare. On my next turn, I cannot play any cards, resolve my upkeep or combat phases, and only trauma tokens will move during cooldown, but on the following upkeep, I'm going to gain three times my heart. That's it. So I'm going to collect these, and all these move down. And that's the end of my turn. Because of Spirit Flare, I'm making the sacrifice of a turn, essentially. Can't play any cards, can't resolve upkeep or combat, which includes movement. So immediately going to go into the cooldown phase. My cards won't move, though. Only trauma tokens will move. Okay. So this power surge will move off. This will move forward. This will move forward. And panic will advance. For this turn, I am going to gain four heart and then end my turn. And now Spirit Flare is going to resolve. So this is my following turns upkeep phase, and gain three heart, which jumps me up. So I'm going to move uh, one, two, because I'm staying at the same elevation, and then three, because I'm just descending, so I don't have to count elevation, uh, which puts one, two, three, to four hexes away from me. I am going to spend 20 fighting spirit, bring me down to 12, to play my ultimate technique, Phantasm Chain Blaster. If it's successful, I get to pull you into an adjacent hex, and then throw you up to four hexes away. And it naturally rolls five dice. Okay. I respond by paying three for Arc Hunter. And because I'm there's a building within my range, I can extend it hitting you up yep. four. Gives me one die. I'm going to spend every single power token, so I've got four, and I'm gonna add four power dice to the roll. All right. So, nine dice. Okay, here we go. Yep. A 12! Ah, oh, you got a 12. You got a lot of 12s. <laughs> okay, so time rolls the 12s. One, on one for one basis, tied dice are removed from play, unless you have an instant to play. Nope. Okay, so those 12s are removed. I get 10 damage, so that 19. So you'll be pulled uh, to an adjacent hex, so you're going to go through both of the high-rises. Broken Water Main. Receive two damage, remove up to three fire from your cooldown meter and creates a flood. So you gain one, two damage, and there is a flood. And then into the second high-rise. Collateral damage, I receive two damage, two panic, and collect rage. One, two. And two panic. Because of this, I gain rage again, except minus two, so I gain six. So I'm at 15. And then it creates rubble. And that's that, so what are you throwing me? So then I get to throw you up to four hexes away. I'm going to throw you right into that skyscraper. So I go here. I gain double damage from this card. Which is burst fuel line. So I gain four damage because it's two. Because it's double. I'm done with one. And I gain a fire. I'm actually going to end my turn. So I'm going to start one, two, three. Over there. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off 6, I'm at 11, for Bolt Caster. And I will use all of my tokens. So, so we're going to be rolling 6, six dice. dice. Yes. I'm going to try to respond with Black Hole Suplex. Uh, okay, so it's six dice. 6 dice on 2. No. Yeah, that's gonna be brutal. Okay, so 11's cancel because of the tie. And it's one, two, three, four, five successes. So I'll move you five spaces, give you five surges. I guess it's over here. Draw an impact shard. Obliteration, your robot's massive chassis creaks as you careen through the steel and glass structure. I receive an extra two damage on the level. Oh, 
Oh, what last thing can I do before I die? Here we go. Lightning Glaive. Give me an attack die for each power surge. If I can only get six. So I have six attack dice. So yeah, I can roll my own defense. One, two, three, four, five successes, two damage each. So that's 10 damage and then the plus one. I'm going to four. Uh, so I'm gonna end my turn. Let me get this. Paddock moves down. And I get fire. Six more life. <laughs> and I just, oof, I just couldn't do it. It's so close. Good game. Yeah. I definitely could have played that a bit differently, thinking retrospectively. When I did Bolt Caster, for example, instead of moving right next to you, it would have been shorter, one, two, three. I could have played that, just thrown you to the building next to me, and then FTL to move the three more. To extinguish the fire. To extinguish the fire, to yeah. last me one more round. And then I would have had all my cards in my hand, and then a few, just a little bit of fighting spirit left to maybe survive one more round. And I would have thrown you in here, which would have caused more damage, except I was afraid of the adjacent damage it might have cost me. That yeah. would have killed me. So I threw you over here, which I guess I would have risked it, risked it being there, but I guess the best placement probably would have been here, and then throw you here, and then move here. I did have some nasty instance that I was kind of waiting for a last dish effort. Uh, I had um, specifically I had power flow and combat flow, but power flow would allow me to choose X dice in your attack roll and force you to re-roll them for power tokens. On a one-to-one -one basis, I could spend power tokens. So I only had one, so I knew for your last attack that wasn't going to make make or break it. But I did have was combat flow, which I only had four at that point before taking rage. Um, and it costs three, so I kind of paid one more to try to reroll one of my dice. But I was kind of worried that you're about to hit me with something else. So I wanted to keep that one die reroll open just in case.